So clearly there's some sort of barrier to getting records in fund since such a small percentage of these records are actually going through the process. So in making this app, we really wanted to focus on simplifying the language, like simplifying the legalese, because a lot of the resources are in legalese and using big words, and that's confusing. And we also wanted to communicate the importance of expungement, because most of these resources, I feel like that message kind of gets lost. It's just like, oh, here's all this information about expungement, but it doesn't stop you and say, like, this is really important. You should do this if you have a record. And then we also wanted to make it really, really easy to connect, connect with legal aid. Um, because there are actually pro bono legal aid foundations in Chicago with expungement help desks. And there are pro bono attorneys who are just sitting around waiting to help people um, expunge their records. And they actually don't get a lot of phone calls. So here are a lot of people with records and lawyers sitting around available to help them for free with nothing to do. So there's just like a really, really odd mismatch. So then this is what Expungio looks like. And I'll take you guys through the app. So here's our landing page. Um, we wanted to make it really clear that if you get arrested, you have a juvenile record. Because a lot of people actually believe that if they got arrested and like nothing happened, or like nothing came out of it, they were just released, that they just don't have anything on the record. But every single arrest goes on your juvenile record. And then you can click this button. And here's a disclaimer, um, just because you don't want people to like take this really, really as like, oh, this is the only source of truth. And then what we really did is we simplified all of the legal policies for eligibility into questions. So if you're if you're reading the whole like 25 page PDF, it's kind of overwhelming. Like I think I have like fairly decent um, reading comprehension skills, but even when I'm going through that, some of it is just going over my head. So we thought it was a lot more digestible to present one question at a time to help people figure out if they were eligible instead of having them digest a ton of information all at once. Um, so, for example, if I have an arrest without going to court, which is a common case, um, and if I'm under 18, oh, not eligible because you have to be over 18 or over 21 in some cases to to apply for expungement. Um, but if you get to 18 or older, then what we have is a form. And the form that we use is WooFu, which is a really awesome service that I actually did not know about um, before making this app. But what it is is you can sign up at WooFu.com. It's W-U-F-O-O, -O, and you can make like any kind of form that you want. So the cool thing is that this app actually doesn't handle any data. Like it's not like storing any data or doing anything to data. It's really lightweight and all the all the data goes through Wufu. And the thing is the the contact information from Wufu, it'll go directly to the the attorneys that are working at the juvenile juvenile expungement help desk. Um, so basically there's a huge question tree because there are like a million of these choices. And we also wanted to make it so that if you're like not sure about any of the questions, which actually it, it's very interesting. And in, in talking to the attorney, she was telling me about how so many people forget the details of their case. So a lot of people, even if they weren't charged with something, what they'll remember is like the most severe thing that happened. Um, so a lot of people misanswer these kinds of questions. So we wanted to make the app so that it would like catch all of these cases and not be like, oh no, you're not eligible. So let's see. And then you can also go to the about page and it'll tell you all about the Make the Challenge and why we made this app. 